All right, <clears throat> so this is my uh, new to me Onyx 2 Infinite Reality 3 desk side system. Um, when I picked it up, it was running fine. When I brought it home, it was running fine. And uh, then when I had an audience, I turned it on and everything blew up. It was a loud pop from the uh, power supply and that's all she wrote. So I'm going to figure out what's going on here. Um, as you, if you may be uh, following my blog, I've got another project that I've been working on during the summer. Now I'm just getting back to this. I'm going to spend a little bit of time, maybe come up with a list of parts I need to buy. So I'm going to take apart uh, a portion of this thing and um, see what I need to buy. So the first step in uh, diagnosing the power supply is getting the front panel off, because the power supply is actually right here in the front of the computer, which is kind of fun. Um, so, of course, browse the internet, found the instructions. The way this works, the way you get the front skins off, which is pretty easy, is, um, by the way, this is a Tech Pubs article. This part is, is, is easy. The power supply part is not so much. But the front skin, the way it works is that there's a screw right down here. And I'm not going to lie to you, I already took it out. There's a screw right here at the very bottom of the grill here. There's a cap of screw back there. That's it. You take that thing out, and the front panel slides down, and then comes straight out. And that's it. Super easy to take the front skins off. And here, here we have the power supply, right in front. Of course, we've got uh, five drive bays. This is the system controller here. Uh, it's got a CD-ROM drive, and then this is the um, GNOME, uh, the null router for the uh, two node boards in the back. Um, I believe the power comes through here and drives this, uh, this fan tray here. Underneath here, it's all hollow. Sucks air from the bottom, sucks it out through the top, or pushes it out through the top. Actually, looking at this, it's a little, a little dirty here. Maybe I can clean that up a little bit. Uh, the back of the uh, skin is kind of interesting. This. Uh, this machine has seen some uh, some battles. It's got a little bit of damage here. I'm missing a clip here, missing clips here, and there was another one I was missing here. No, it's missing this clip right here. It's got the other five, so that's all right. And um, the Onyx panel here in front. It's getting it's getting a little tough to move around, so I'd like to try and fix that here, but it does work, which is kind of cool. A lot of scrapes there, but pretty good condition overall. Move that to the side here. Now, to get this power supply out, it's uh, not so hard, actually. You disconnect the uh, fan tray here. Ah. Of course, there's four screws. Of course, like I said, I've already taken this thing apart, and right away I noticed that this power supply has been through some difficulties here. I can see already, right after I took it off, this whole tab has been bent out of shape, so this screw won't even go in. This screw is in okay, this one was okay, but even this bottom rack here, this bottom uh, uh, lip is all bent, and this whole... Um, screw assembly here is missing so clearly this power supply has taken a couple of hits um, so to get this thing out what you got to do is uh, take these two things out here and then this uh, lever will sl uh, slide down and the supply will come out so I think I got these all out so that one's out Let's double check this one here looks good uh, there's no screw there okay so now the tricky part is getting these guys out and you just need to um, Get your screwdriver in there, and then these things here slide out like this. So, no worries. And then this guy here, yeah, you just pull down this handle. I think actually, you can see there's some corrosion here. This may have been outside. What a disaster. <clears throat> so we slide this thing all the way down, and the power supply comes out. You want to get yourself in a good position here, as it's pretty heavy. Yep, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. 
And at first glance, the very first thing you see is turning back auto focus back on here. The top of that power supply is taking a pretty good hit, like a really good hit. Let's see right here, it's, it's all dented in. So I think I'm going to try and save this power supply because it's worth a lot of money working. Like about 500 to a thousand bucks or so. So what I'll probably try and do is I actually have two replacement power supplies, which is amazing. So I'm gonna try a new one. See if I can get the machine working again. Let me turn off auto. In the meantime, I'll see if I can get this one fixed. Uh, when I sh pick it up and rattle it, there is something rattling around in there. So when it popped, maybe I blew something. Look at all the capacitors. The capacitors, I mean, as far as I can tell, in the uh, through the grate there, it, uh, capacitors look fine. So I mean, there's a whole bunch of them, and they all look good. So it's probably not a capacitor. Um, yeah, so if you want to see if we can take a look inside the Onyx here. Let me get the light. See, I believe these are the 48 volt rails and all your 12 and 5 and whatever. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, 5 volts, 12 volts, 5 volts, and uh, I'm pretty sure those are 48s. do not say that up here. Yeah, there's the fan trays. Uh, if you oh, yeah, bring it way down here, there's a heat sink. For the back plane there, it looks like. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to, I was going to try and get this thing fixed first, but based on the condition of it, I think I'm going to just put it aside and grab a new one and start over. Because this one, I'd like, like I said, I want to get it working, but I think I'm going to start fresh. In fact, I'm looking at some of the components inside. Let's take a look at some of the components inside there. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to turn all focus back on. There's just things I don't like. And they're like You can see that those little wings on the left, they're all together. On the right, they're spread apart. I think that's okay, but um, that little heat sink right there is crooked. So... Don't think I trust this power supply. Maybe what I'll do is start fresh. And with that, oh, you can see some of the other damage here to the um, to the skins. I don't know if you can see it, but that's kind of a pity. You know, it's this thing weighs. It weighs a lot and moving it around is really difficult and I actually I'm surprised how good the skins are uh, considering how many times it's been moved I'm sure I'm the fourth fifth sixth owner who knows which owner I am I am but I'm sure I'm way down the line but you can see there's some tabs here that have been ripped off look can see the side skins are awfully wobbly here I'm sure I'm missing some plastic clips there probably the other side is the same yeah so um uh, considering what this machine has been through, uh, it's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for other videos. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe one of my other power supplies will work and we can get this thing up and running again. Okay, dug out the new power supply. And it is indeed new. You can see here on the old power supply here. It got some scratches along here. Where can you see that? Yeah, where it's been inserted a couple times. Oh, you can look here. Can you see that? Look at this uh, top rail here. See, so, yeah, it's just been bent. Looks like it fell out of the back of the truck or something like that. So, it's missing the captive screw here. This whole assembly is all bent up. It's missing the entire assembly here. 
Um, the bottom rail, can you see that? Yeah, it's all bent up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's this one. This guy here is all bent. It's all in bad shape. Versus the new guy over here, it is in perfect shape. No bending. All the captive screw and their mounts are there. So let's take another closer look here. Um, yep. Yeah, this guy looks brand new. It's not bent on the top or anything. So I think indeed this is brand new. So this is a nice piece of hardware. So I'm going to throw that in the box there and maybe we can power it up tonight. One more thing, these are fun. So here are the actual connectors. Here's a printing on the back of that. It's a pretty beefy power supply. It was 17, close to 2000. No, no, it's a 3000 watt power supply, I think. Yeah, so here we are. Oh, these are only, th okay. I thought, I thought these were 40 volts. No, 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 okay. So they're only uh, 4 volts each and 5 volts. The, each one of these big, big old connectors here. That's the back of it. There it is again. This is not spacing up. This is encouraging. Tested in 1998, almost 20 years old. Okay, we've got the new uh, power supply installed, hooked up to a uh, low power monitor in there. That monitor actually came with the fuel that you can see to the left. Uh, it's got all the stickers on it from whatever hospital it came from, which is kind of cool. But this is SGI branded LCD, which I've always wanted. Unfortunately, it has the new style SGI logo, not the old one. But I'll get over it. Okay, so we're uh, plugged in and uh, with keyboard and mouse and uh, power, no network. I do have my fire extinguisher handy. I hesitate. Oops, can you see that? Yeah, this is my fire extinguisher. Hesitate because the last time I did this, I turned it on, we had a massive pop, and the power supply died. So I'm hoping to, I'm really, really hoping to avoid that. I have, <clears throat> when I bought the machine, I came with two extra power supplies. So this is extra power supply one. Oh, by the way, oh yeah, yeah I showed you all the, uh, uh, fixtures now are complete on it. So, um, alright, well, let's get this thing going. So I'm going to go to the back, turn it on. First of all, you can see right here, this is the key that, that starts it. Right now it's on standby. When I turn it to on, it'll actually... Um, so when I flip on the power, then this uh, system controller should power on. Um, and since the system's on standby, it won't actually turn on. But then after I turn it to on, it should come up. Hopefully without exploding. I've got it sitting on this board here to get it off the carpet. I think you can see that there. Yeah, you can see the, the board that's sitting on there. So, um, all right, let's turn it on. Oop, little flash of lights there. Okay, we have power going on the system. Oh boy, look at that. The lights are flickering there. Maybe I'll turn off the overhead lights. They're LED lights, they take like no power, but uh, right now I'm terrified. So I'll just leave that one overhead light on. Let's see what the system controller is saying. It says version 3.1. Let me zoom in on that here. So this has got... Oops, is this on here? Manual, it's automatic, yeah, good. And why is this thing not focusing here? What? Man, I don't know. Bear with me here just for a moment. Yeah, Alright, whatever. Alright, so it says version 3.1. 
with a little green LED on the AC thing with jigger there. There's my power or my fire extinguisher in case things go south. All right, here we go. Power is on. System controller is on. I'm gonna turn that switch. Hopefully, I'm not gonna need my power so my uh, fire extinguisher. Here we go. So far, so good. Oh, there it is. She's alive. No pops. Infant reality graphics. Channel Zero said so blah blah blah. That ah, seems to like my monitor. That's good news. Oh, you know what happens now? Okay. We'll let this run here. Uh, right now what it does is it tests the memory. And that will be another video. Because it takes forever. It takes like two minutes. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll just leave this video running. I'll boot it up. Poke around the system. Uh, and then maybe we'll do another video of the LEDs uh, flashing as it tests the memory. Let me double check that here. Oh, yep. Before, when I checked it last, the uh, LEDs were solid. Now they're all flashing up and down. You see other videos on YouTube of uh, the, the LEDs flashing up and down. So, uh, I'm going to let that carry on. You know what? My battery is almost out, so I'm going to swap batteries. Okay, I swap batteries. That only took about 30 seconds. So we're still here. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit longer. And then we'll watch it boot up. You know what I might do is get an Ethernet cable to it. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. <clears throat> ah, forget the Ethernet cable. Let's let it boot. Oh, looks like I was wrong. Looks like it sucks in air from the top and blows it out the bottom. That's unexpected. I think we go the other way around. It was the longest startup sequence ever. System controller has changed. I'm going to show you that here. Let's see if I can focus on that. Come on. Don't tell me the autofocus on this is messed up. Manual. Uh -oh. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Yeah, the, the hardware is in focus. I don't know if you can see the lights. It says uh, 3 of 0 M1. I don't know what that means, but at least it's changing. That's good news. I've got uh, five drive caddies, but only one drive in there. I'm gonna get need to get some blanks. There's also some sort of thing that goes right, right there, right here against this thing. I have to order one of those or find one. Order one. You're right. SGI has just been sold to Hewlett Packard, or I should say the name has just been sold to Hewlett Packard. So I think the SGI. Logo and Mind Trust has completely abandoned their old machines. There's uh, Tech Pubs is now offline too. It's great the old Rackspace company they kept te Tech Pubs up for quite a while, but they took it down what, about two months ago, which is a real pity.
luckily some kind folks up on the internet mirrored the whole system, created a little uh, database, and now we have a searchable archive of all that stuff, which is good. That, that's actually where I found out, figured out how to, oh, oh, there it is, infinite reality, welcome to, right, so we're just going to let it start the system. Normally I'd probably go into the uh, command monitor and take a look at what we got, but we'll let it boot. So review, this is a uh, S Silicon Graphics Onyx 2 Infinite Reality 3. It has two 400 megahertz MIPS R12000 processors and um, the standard geometry engine, I can't remember what it's called, uh, and then two RM10 raster managers for a total of 512 megabytes of uh, uh, graphics memory. It's not going to start by itself, usually it starts by itself. What's going on here? Start system. Oh, there we go. Whatever. Oh, hard drive still works. Oh, yeah, they're just complaining about the Ethernet. If it complains too much, I'll, maybe I'll get that ready. Let's see where I have an Ethernet cable. I've got a whole bunch here. Oh, there's a green one. Oh, that's not a green one. Oh, that blue one might be available. Sorry, I'm not a fashion plate today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this blue one's good. <clears throat> All right, if it complains again anymore, I'll plug this guy in. Cannot start ESP, whatever that means. That's all right. Not a all plug in screen. Ethernet is plugged in. Yay, booted. All right, that's exciting. Let's see what we have on here. So, oh, shoot. Uh, is that a root password? Crap. I've got the password. Hold on. Stand by. Let's hope I didn't delete the password. The previous owner gave it to me. It's on my notes here. Stand by. Almost there. Uh, notes. Uh oh, this is not. Not crud. I have the password. Holy Toledo, I can't believe I got rid of the. Yeah. Let's see if I. I'm not logging into this account. Whatever. Let's see if guess works. Not that good. I guess it works. It's good enough for now. We'll do a better video on uh, what this thing can do later. Ooh, Photoshop SGI. Oh, Photoshop. Oh, of course. It must be installed in order to run. It's kind of anticlimactic. Let's see if there are any. First of all, everything's out of whack here. Oops. Who knows how to work this thing here? Auto on. Yeah, fail. It doesn't, it's not auto anything. Alright, so uh, let's see. We're going to want to go to find. Icon catalog. Get rid of the menu. Oh! -ho. Terribly fast there, huh? Desktop tools, blah blah blah, applications. Okay, this is applications. Collaboration, control panel, data translators. 
I don't have any other demos installed on here. Developer Maggot. Hmm. Desktop tools, freeware. Alright, so there's nothing cool on here. Fine, whatever. Alright, uh, let's see. If we go uh, ls4 slash, do I have a. Oh my goodness, look at all the temp folders on there. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, do I have my favorite volumes? Oh, good. oh of course, I don't have that seat. <laughs> Alright, HINV V. See if we can get you in there. There's a guy. We got. Uh, that's probably pretty good. Let me uh, see if I can tell what this one I do. Put you back on the tripod. Closer there. Yeah, there we go. What do we got there? Um, two 400 megahertz processors, R12000. Let's see, CPU, blah, blah, blah. We've got 2.5 gigabytes of memory. That's good. Um, got a hard drive, of course. And then we have the graphics board. Infant Reality 3. And um, a bunch of other details. It doesn't show you the memory. So let's go to uh, what was it? Uh, user ls g f x. We'll do g f x info. There you go. Graphics board, Kernel graphics, four um, geometry engines, four megabytes of external BEFRAM, whatever that is, two RM10 boards, 256 megs each, control of 512 megs. Yep, we're good to go. All right, fun. All right, well, so I can't really show you much on this machine as it's currently configured. What I'm probably going to do is... Uh, Maybe tomorrow, reinstall the operating system and a bunch of fun demos. And then I'll uh, do another video on what this thing can do. Alright, thanks for watching.